It was 4.30 in the morning. Few dogs stirred in their kennels as the cage door clanged open. Chance lifted his head and blinked a drowsy good morning through cloudy eyes. Good morning, sweet boy, the soft voice greeted him. Then gentle hands lifted his sore haunches and helped him to his feet. Gingerly, he padded down the hallway. As the outside door swung open, his lungs were filled with crisp morning air. He had the grassy play yard all to himself at this early hour. Good morning, boy. It was that gentle voice again. It's time to take that pain away. And together, they eased down the hall and into the medical suite. The door closed silently behind them. It was late July when our admissions team got a call that one of our alumni had been found wandering the streets. The elderly dog was disoriented, arthritic, and possibly deaf. It was Chance. Chance had been adopted from animal friends many years ago. When we followed up with the adopter, we learned that there had been a number of life changes in the household, and Chance had been living at a new address. With age, Chance's health had begun to decline. The family struggled watching the progression of age-related challenges. Three times they had made appointments to have him euthanized. Three times they were unable to follow through. We explained to the owner that with the right medication for his arthritis, he still had a good quality of life. Chance's owner replied that he just didn't have time for him anymore, and he wouldn't be coming to retrieve him. We were concerned. Shelter life is tough for an older dog and Chance was 14. We assessed Chance's physical challenges and placed him on supportive medications. He was housed in a large suite with soft bedding and therapeutic mats. He relished his short walks at the edge of the woods and sitting quietly by the benches that line our walking trails. All the while, we continued to look for that special home where he could live out his final days. Soon, we realized that his decline was becoming more rapid. His legs weakened further and incontinence set in. And with as much love as concern, we agreed that we needed to make a very hard decision. It was scheduled for 4.30 on the morning of October 4th. It's easy to assume that Chance's owner was heartless, inhumane even, for leaving his dog to end his life as a nameless stray on the streets. At Animal Friends, we see it differently. Chance began his journey with us so many years ago, and we made a commitment that if he ever needed to come back to us, for whatever reason, we would be there for him. Animal Friends stood by this promise. Chance was welcomed back into our care when he was found stray in the streets. We nursed his tired body and surrounded him with love. And when the time came, he left this world in our arms with much dignity. We all know we can't live forever, and as difficult as it is, we all know our pets can't live forever either. It's how we deal with these realities that makes all the difference. We at Animal Friends work tirelessly for all the pets in our care. But the simple truth is, to keep these promises, we need your support. As we look toward the new year, we are challenged by ongoing expenses and an increased demand for our programs. Cutting back services, which are so desperately needed, just isn't an option. So please, give generously to Animal Friends, because every chance matters.